Hello and welcome back to Swinch Motor Railway. In this episode, I am working on a little bit more of the ballast, which you can see in the top corner of the uh, lout, as well as realigning the track that that train is currently sitting on to make it accommodate their little R8 shunter, as it has not done before, and keeps derailing the engine as it comes onto that track. I also have replaced one of my signals for Platform 1 and the uh, welding light underneath the uh, coach on the jacks. All be shown in this video is how I've done all of that. I also get a bit of help on the railway from my mate Chris. So at some point you'll see an extra set of hands assisting me build the layout. So. Yeah, let's jump back to a week and a bit ago, where I continued the works on from the last video. Enjoy. Right, so for the start of this video, we're going to be looking at this track here that goes alongside my platform into platform one. Only downside to it is it's too close to the actual platform, as discovered on a previous show, that a class 08 diesel shunter, which I have set up on the track just off camera, would not fit into the siding due to its connecting rods along the edge hitting the platform. So we'll rev that up, run it in and see how far we get. Already hitting the platform. To the point where it launched itself off the track, apparently. So, all these tracks will be moved over slightly. There's already a line running along the edge of the rails. So, that line will have to go slightly under the sleepers. All the way up to the edge. So I'd have to come along here, lift it. I've also got an uncoupler there. And uncoupler here. Which won't move. The track will just move above them. So I'll put a nice little shunter back on the rails. And run it away. After moving this track, I'll be able to do a few more manoeuvres inside the, uh, or at shows. And I'll have full ability to run that engine anywhere on the uh, railway. But for now, time to start lifting. Okay, so now that I have lifted that rail, which I didn't realise was actually a small section, I have lifted all the way up to here, which is where my entry and coupler is. So that gives me a good amount of ability to move so I can give it a part of this glue, which is my next task, removing most of that because I'll interfere now. It also gives me a chance to show you on the uh, older at carton couplers which is basically two neodymium magnets with one of the plastic spacers that come with them in the uh, middle. So they quite effectively uncouple my units. Got several of those on the layout. So 
all I've got to do now is remove the glue along the center so I can add some new glue put the tracks back down and whilst the glue dries align it using my uh, 08 as that seems to be the only one that's fouled on the platform as of yet so yeah I'll time lapse a bit of footage of me removing the glue and then start refitting the track this is a little thing I've had to do for a while as getting the little shunter into this platform has not been possible since I initially laid the tracks so yeah next step the cleanup process before I start putting it back in this is a short project shouldn't take too long to do and then I can move on to ballasting it once the glue dries Right, now that this line has been repositioned and whilst that is just finishing off drying I've got an upgrade in mind for this carriage I'm going to be replacing the welder light with a better one so it means I have to get the carriage off the stands also this signal here has broken in the under section so it's no longer operating correctly so I have to cut this out which will also be easier when the carriage is out so I have to get another one of these signals in order they are DAPL signals so I'll have to order another one I'll probably set the base up differently so I don't have to build around it this time and raise its base up so let's just get this coach off the uh, plinth first and see what I'm dealing with underneath
Okay, so for anyone wondering about this coach, this is an old Lima coach that I bought on eBay a while back. In fact, it was probably the first scenic detail I added to the layout, so depends on how long I've been building this. All it is is a Lima coach repainted and has a welder light mounted underneath which is what I'm upgrading today so let's just see if we can get this old one out so I can get the new one in right so here we have the uh, new light anyone that has been paying attention to my channel would know I've already used one of these in my uh, loco shed off my turntable so I'm upgrading this coach to have one of these under it now because they give off a nice effect that I rather like so yeah we'll get this installed on the coach I might connect it to my rails first and get it coded as that will be slightly harder to get the contacts when it's underneath the carriage for very obvious reasons <laughs> whilst I've got the carriage out of place I'm also gonna cut this out so that I can clear this old signal away and then get a new one so we'll put the light to a side for now and we'll start getting this out Okay, so did a little bit more damage there than I was anticipating. But got the signal out, looks like there's a bit of damage to it there. But that's broken away. Wasn't exactly being gentle when I removed it. But yeah, I'll get a new one of these on order. And then hopefully get it fitted before the show okay I don't mean hopefully I've still got a couple of weeks so should be able to get the new one in time so that's that out I'll fit the new light to the coach and get coded up okay so that's now hooked up to the track for a temporary set of crocodile clips to the uh, rails so I'm going to put it into programming mode using a little flat blade there we go solid white with a flash now I select the new number so if I turn that off now the light goes off turn it back on and we have it lighting up, lighting up again So, now that that's like that, I'll turn off trap power, make it safe to disconnect this. And drop those over there. Now we just need our carriage. Now, I like these lights because they also have sticky back on the back which is e makes it easier to place them so all I need 
Here's the right to be about. I'd say probably about there. So I'm going to trim the uh, sticky back on one side. Okay, so after a little filming issue where my camera ran out of storage because I hadn't removed all the uh, deleted videos from my bin, I might I don't know how much of that I wasn't filming. So I'm at the final steps of installing this, so just gonna get this in. Pushed it down. And there we have it. New World of Light is now installed. I'll get a marker and colour the side black, which I have over here. Just to try and hide that a bit more. So now that that's more discreet, yeah, we have a new light installed, which should be a much, much better effect than the old one. Now I've just got to get these cables down for the board, but I can't install the carriage until I get that new signal. So for now, it'll just sit there on its stands. Right, so just a couple of days later now, and I've just got this brand new signal through from Hattons, which means I can now continue with the uh, repair work to this section. So we've got our brand new SR Lattice Semaphore signal from Apple. So, just got to get this one out of the box and get that installed on the lamp. So that's the signal now installed. I've done the uh, nut up from underneath. Not as tight as I had the old one. I think that might have been one of the reasons it got damaged. So I just pop the coach back onto the stands. Much take that back off again because I've got to clear that area to lift up that panel, which will enable me to uh, wire that signal in and be able to test it before I proceed any further and get to a point where I cannot replace the signal if it's not working so I just need to get it tested by hooking it up to the uh, system which is as simple as four cables just connecting into the uh, control unit so I've just got to clear everything off that panel. Which has an awful lot of stuff on it. Okay, so here we are underneath the panel. We've got our 
new signal right here, done that up underneath it. This is the uh, Simma 4 controller. This is the other signal in the platform. So you can see where the old one was wired in. I couldn't get my screwdriver in there at the time to remove it properly. So just got to remove these cables and put the new ones in. This is my old welder unit controller, which I now have to also remove from the layout. Looks like I glued that onto the back, so that would be slightly more difficult to remove. But in any case, it should still come out quite easily. So, yeah. I'll get these wired in. And then continue the video on testing it. Okay, so the signal's now wired in. We'll just do testing on both of them. Another one in the station. Two greens. And two reds. Now we just gotta continue some of the scenics and repair the damage when I pulled the old one out.
well that's about it for this video if you like the video feel free to subscribe if you want to follow it on facebook where i do the occasional update for this railway there should be a link in the description below as always your comments are always appreciated i've enjoyed reading the ones that i've seen come up in the last couple of weeks and also enjoy seeing the view account <laughs> on that last video as well as wanting to welcome all my new subscribers to the channel it's all appreciated keeps me motivated to keep going so yeah thank you I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do for the next build video yet but I will shortly be releasing a few videos for the uh for the um yeah Folkestone show as we we'll go into that in a little bit and I will be doing another tech behind the layout video based on my control system and power system so that'll be another one to keep an eye on or give an eye out for hey right. thank you for watching Hope to see you in the next video.